Hola. Hello. Ni hao. <laughs> Ni hao. I learned that in class. Yeah? I took, <laughs> what I class? took Mandarin. You did? Yeah, I took Mandarin for one year, but it was What too do you remember? Ho- Ni hao. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> you can say hello. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, guys, hello, and uh, welcome to Wine and Divination. We are your hosts. I'm Christy. I'm Devin. And, uh, you know, today... Should we just get into our guest? Yeah, let's get into our guest okay. because I'm so excited and I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, we have um, another, yet another friend from UCLA. Recently married. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I just, um, sorry, I'm just so happy. <laughs> Devin loves love. I That's, love this is love. what we've learned, is Devin <sighs> loves love. And um, guys, welcome Marie Richardson. Hello. Yay, <laughs> welcome to Wine and Divination. Thank you. Yeah. I'm excited. So wait, I I don't know. Did you reach out to us or did we reach out to you? I reached out to you guys. Actually, Ooh. Marie was the first person to actually email our email. Guys, you need to email our email. Yeah. Wine.divination at gmail.com. And we you know where she heard emails. it? She heard it because she listened to the episodes. And that's where she heard the email from. That's true. Do you follow in directions. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for doing so. Yes. <laughs> it Actually, it made me really excited because I was like, when I checked it, I checked the email a lot. Um, because I'm also like emailing people mm. our whole spiel of like how to be a guest. So I was like, oh my gosh, Marie. <laughs> yes. Because yes. like, you know, if you know us, usually like it's like our friends will just like send a text. Then it's very like oh. informal. So I'm like really, I was really excited. Oh yeah. Got to go the formal you, way. Yeah. yeah. And so thank you for emailing of us. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Okay. So let's, uh, let's get a little bit about you. Yeah. Uh, obviously, about yourself. obviously you are a UCLA friend. So you are you know, are from in the film industry and, and mm-hmm. you're a director and, and yeah, spill the tea. Who are you? <laughs> yeah. So I'm from Indiana. I, I did not know that either. I'm learning oh, so yeah. much about you today. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So I'm from Indiana. I moved here for um, UCLA for grad school uh, like five years ago, I guess yeah. now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm on year six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I've been in LA now for five years. I, was at UCLA for three and a half of those years. And since then, I've been working as an editor slash assistant editor, kind of just all around post-production person. Love it. What are you working on right now? Um, Right now, I'm working on a docuseries that's going to be on PBS hopefully (gasps) next year. Can you say what it's about? I think so. Has it been announced? Uh, Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have it on their social media. Yeah. Um, So it is about... I don't know if you guys heard about in like 2017, right after Trump was inaugurated, there was a guy that burned down a mosque in Victoria, Texas. (gasps) Oh my gosh. I didn't think that was what you were going to say. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I thought you were going to say something a lot more fun. Uh, Yeah, no, it's not. It's 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 pretty dark. Yeah. (laughs) But it's basically about um, about that incident, about the arson, about kind of the investigation into the arsonists. Oh, wow. Um, and I would say mostly about the town that, that, that it happened in. Um, mm. And it's kind of, um, yeah, gets like introspective into the town, I guess. Cool. That's a cool, that's a great take on it. Because I feel like sometimes it's like you learn about like any victims and like the perpetrator. But then like As small, town. towns are, small towns are weird. I mean, in Texas too. Yeah. 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 Because it's a pretty small town. So. Wow. And they had a mosque. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I can't wait to watch. Yeah. 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 Cool. When is it? When does it come out? <laughs> 2023. Um, don't know exactly the air date yet. It's oh, okay. Next like year. Guys. Around. But next year. Put it on sooner the calendar. rather than later. Where we? Oh, yes. Yeah. So very excited to see it next year. Mm-hmm. Yes. Everyone watch out for it. Does it have like a, a title? title? Yes. A town called Victoria. Oh, Ooh, I guess it's in Victoria. Yeah. A place of crime <laughs> and <Yeah>. hatred. <laughs> I can't speak for that because I've never really been to Texas. I've just been to Austin. But <laughs> I know. Yeah. I've only ever been to Austin for like three days. So. I went for a bachelorette party. Same. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, I don't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah. There's <laughs> photos of me looking like a lost child at that bachelorette party. Oh, my God. <laughs> in a pink wig. Oh, my Amazing. God. In a pink wig. Fun. Oh. I don't know what happened to that wig. It was like a big mystery. Like afterward, because it was the whole thing was like, okay, you're gonna. You ever hear these bachelorette things where you like go to a place beforehand and they'll like do your wig for you and then you you pay for the wig. And no, then you, but that sounds fun. And then you go out in your wig. 
So that's what we did. And um, so I bought this fucking long ass pink wig that was like amazing. And then no one knows what happened to it. Like, (laughs) I don't know what happened to this wig, but it was no longer on my head. But this is a thing to like get wigs for bachelorette parties. Yeah. Like it's the first time. There's like there's like little like businesses where this one was I don't know what this was called, but like. It was like a little boutique and we went there and they have like, you know, their hair styling station and whatever. And they will take you one at a time into the back and they will be like, which wig in this wig room speaks to you? It's like an initiation. Yeah. yeah. And you got to go one at a time. And then wow. like the bride was last and she's like, I don't like my wig. Sorry, Christina. <laughs> she was like, I hate my wig. And then she cried and then she went home. Aww. What? <laughs> the bride? Yeah. Wait. Uh, so she didn't even want to party after? No, we called her fiance and he was laughing at us too. <laughs> oh my God. Damn. She went out the next night, but I couldn't. I was done. Whatever. Yeah. This is not about me. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of, that sounds kind of fun. Yeah. I guess if you want to like be somebody else and you're like, whatever, last, last single night or, or whatever. Is that what that is? What yeah. is the point? Did you have a bachelorette party? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I, I had like three friends come in from out of town, um, the mm-hmm. night before. Did but, you do or, separate like bachelorettes or like the, or together bachelorettes? Uh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't like a huge thing. Like we basically just went out to dinner and then went to the Abbey and. Oh, fun. Ooh. Yeah. And so Carla met us at the Abbey, but I, she went out to dinner with her sisters. Oh, that's also oh, oh, like, you know, little, separate but together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I love that. Yeah. Me yeah. Too. I love it so much. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my God. We need wine. We've been munching oh. on snacks. Yeah, okay. It's time. So I don't Wine know choice. how many episodes you may have listened to, but we ask our guests to choose the wine, okay. and we have provided options for you. But we won't. Get, we're not going to tell you who brought what. We're just going to let you look at them. Here, let me. And you can. Why don't we hold it so that you may see and also. <laughs> so we have. It's like a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... we're literally. Present- okay. One is the one I'm holding is uh, Seven Deadly Zins. 2018 is a Lodi Old Vine Zinfandel. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Is that a California? I. It sounds like Lodi. I think Lodi is California. Let's see. Oh, Win- yeah. Liver- uh, Livermore and Rapon, California. Windermere is a Pinot Noir. Russian River Valley, Sonoma County. That's definitely California. Um, 2020. Um. Yeah. Both different. Here, I'll let you touch them or whatever you want to do. So I was just holding I'm drawn to this way. one. Ooh. It's Windermere Pinot Noir. Okay. Yes. that That's my wine, and it is a Costco wine. And oh. I am still very happy because Pinot Noir is my favorite one. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we're going to do um, we're gonna do this Pinot. I got this at the CVS and on the street, and I just <laughs> thought it was like... I don't know. I was like, ooh, Seven Deadly I like, Zins. I like yeah. Seven Deadly Zins. I mean, that's yeah. pretty fun. I just don't know anything about Zinfandel. Ooh, I love a red Zin. I don't know anything mm. about it, but I love I it. I just like how it sounds. And I like the Seven Deadly Zins. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah it has fun. a Z with a halo on it. I'm like, does it mean there's seven different Zins in there? Maybe. I don't know. Um, will you mind pushing our snack yeah. tray to that corner? And then I'm going to open this bottle. It is a oh. corked bottle, so I'm going to deal with that but um do would you what would you so tell me um about your experience with all things witchy and tarot cards um are you experienced are you a witch yeah. are you do you like to do readings what's your what's your experience level on all this yeah i would say i don't have really any experience but i'm very interested okay yeah oh. so you wouldn't be like these crack pot which bitches? Well, no. no Why okay. would I be here if I? Thought I don't I know. <laughs> I don't know. But some people, I feel like they might like to be like not any of our guests because our guests are super cool. But, um, like let's see what they know or like gotcha or like whatever. But, oh no! Yeah. And me and Christy are very open about the fact that we're like we're baby witches. We're new. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're and reading so, from the book. Yeah, we're reading honestly. from the book. But um, the book and the cards, they don't lie. But you guys are going from source material. You're like, mm-hmm. you that's know. true. Yeah, I mean, it, it is as just pure. Stuff up. Yeah, true. it's as it's as pure as it gets. We like, did yeah. try that, and there was some kind of like evil egg, and we don't. I don't know what the fuck was going on <laughs> there. But we tried that one time to just use our intuition, and mm-hmm. we were like, we were totally off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hopefully one day I'll yeah. get there. Guys, this is the wine opening ASMR. Sorry, it's <laughs> this fucking cork squeaking. 
But yeah, I think I had my cards read by you guys one time. Oh. But that's the only other time. It was like when Devin had her like studio opening. Oh. Yeah. And how was that card experience? Did you feel like they were accurate? Or? I don't remember what it was. Honestly, what you I don't asked. remember. I don't remember Because it was like a party situation. I think we were all just drunk. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. It's that's, a good party trick a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. That's so interesting that a lot of, that we, a lot of people's, a lot of times are from, from us. From, from <laughs> us, and I literally don't remember when we do them, so yeah. I'm probably wasted when we we do. But I was just gonna say, but I won't be this time. But like that's to be. But we're open in the mind to right be now. <laughs> yeah, like fucking. Hold on, if I can open it, maybe we'll actually break into the second bottle today. Who knows? We we keep saying we keep almost getting getting yeah. there. Like um, Patrick, he was like, "Oh, do we, you go no, we to were, the second one?" And we were like on the verge, and then we like finished up. It's always like yeah. that. And same with Ivy, it mm-hmm. was like we were on the verge, and then then like, and she really wanted to get to the second. The cars were like, "Devin, you gotta drive home," and I was like, "I know." Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I'm just at a bad vantage point to pull it out. I don't want the cork to break. You got this. I see it. It's right there. I know. So close. It's on the verge of breaking. Oh I learned God. how to open wine because um, in college, I worked at an olive garden for three weeks. Mm. And um, that's where they taught me how to do that. But then I told them I broke my leg and I never went back. <laughs> but you didn't actually break your leg? No. Because oh my, I, God. my experience the night before, I was like 19 years old. And these two oh. women came in and they laughed in my face over something. And I just was Fuck like, them. I was traumatized. Yeah, that's horrible. I, know. I was like, this is my first the court night smells as a good. server. Okay. okay, I've opened, I have a, a successfully opened the wine. Oh. Let's pour. Yeah, yeah, this is sweet. your glass. Oh, these are so cute. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we have our little. Uh, Ooh, they feel nice too. Yeah, they're like a matte, like a yeah. soft touch uh, brewmate with our sticker, yeah. wine and divination. Here we go. I'm Something. just going to be petting it the whole time. Thank I don't know you, how much you. I'm pouring in them. No, I you're doing see. a good amount. Okay. Speaking of stickers, to say thank you, we would love to give you one of our stickers Ooh, for being a guest. Thank yeah. you. Ooh, sparkly. And mm-hmm. also, I, I would like to report that I have put these through the dishwasher, like with the sticker and everything, and still they're still on there. So they are very much like weatherproof, and they were like, you know, dried by machine in the dishwasher. So mm. I think they're, they're going to be... Good. Put them on whatever you want. Heavy duty. Cheers, guys. Sorry, cheers. cheers. That's so rude of me. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, first impressions. Tart. Needs to breathe. Yeah, needs to breathe, I think. Also feels watery, but not in a good way. Uh oh. You know? Like it's not like a thick I don't, I don't hate this thick wine. by any means. Yeah, I'm like tastes like red wine to me. Mm. <laughs> I do think, yeah, it is very tart and and it's not like you know how there's like fruit forward, yeah, red wines. This is definitely I get the, more robust. The wateriness. Yeah, it's like a little more robust and maybe a little more towards the like smoky, mm-hmm. deeper tastes. Look at this. We put the wine in wine divination. <laughs> we. I think we should like learn some some uh, uh, keywords or whatever. Ooh, sommelier. That's all I'm saying. What about what about it? Let's try to track one down and read their cards. Sure, this more that way. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, yeah, I would love to have, if you're a sommelier and you want your cards read and you want to also teach us about how to talk about wine. That would be great. We would love to have you. But I, I listened to Myra's episode where she talked about, so she was talking about how she works for like a study guide company that oh yeah does, does study, study guides for sommeliers. <laughs> yeah, Myra is super interesting because she does a lot of interesting things like that I would never think of that was like a that was even like a real yeah like that's a thing yeah, yeah. like i can't believe there's we should get one of her guidebooks yeah that's what i was oh, gonna say yeah, study yeah. guide with your tarot ki- card True. book guidebooks mm-hmm. your sommelier guidebook actually i had a really True. great idea well a plane is going past maybe we can cut this out but i had a really great idea um while i was like falling asleep last night is that we do a wine and divination oracle card deck that's like wine and divination like theme so like each one's like a different wine that like is a mood or whatever don't take that that's our idea <laughs> yeah which we can just cut this out because there's a plane going anyway or we leave it in or we leave it in i don't know who knows who knows but i think we should work on that because i i like that and i okay. also don't did not look into if there if that exists already um who gives a fuck they they need one 
That's wine and divination branded. Yeah, I would love that. And then, oh my God, with the backs of the cards were like iridescent. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so cute. Exactly. And then I could do the R, we can oh. write it together. Okay, anyway, besides the point. Um, <laughs> um, so you have a little bit of experience with us. Yes. Um, but tell us, okay. And you're not a witch. I mean, I wish I was. I don't know. Oh, but, <laughs> but are you I'm not so, a so interesting you're, So you're like us. It's like yeah, you're, you're, you're interested. Mind. Yeah. You're like, you want to vibe with it, but you're not sure where to you start. You should totally join yeah. our coven. Oh, yes. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Yes. Yeah. We are on, uh, we're on Discord. And if you have a Discord. I don't even know what that is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's like not a, it basically it's like, um, it's like a Slack or like it's a, like a it's a community chat like yeah. like chat, remember when chat rooms were a thing it's mm-hmm. kind of like that but then for like your little community so then mm-hmm. it's like sometimes i post like tips on like and reminders on like when it's like you know the first of the month and like blow cinnamon in your door or like mm-hmm. it's a full moon do you should like do that rituals oh. for abundance mm-hmm. on the first of the month blow cinnamon is it you so you're inside you're so you put like a bit of powdered cinnamon in your hand and then um you're gonna go to your door like and go outside your door and you're going to blow it in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because you want the stuff you want like abundance to go in your door into mm-hmm. your life do you have a welcome mat i do but it doesn't say welcome okay good yes, okay. i okay. listen to that one i literally <laughs> ordered actually i think my welcome mat is supposed to arrive like tomorrow where, that doesn't have welcome on it because yeah. i have one with welcome on it so now i'm finally replacing yeah. it yeah that was that's a good tip because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you don't want to welcome in oh it makes everything. total sense did like, you hear the money mantra one too that one's a good one mm, yeah I, i'll need to utilize that yeah. one my or no a money miracle happens to me today christy yes. literally got a money miracle i got a money miracle yeah i've got several got a money miracle yeah everyone's gotten some money miracles wow yeah. from the mantra yes yeah. just say it whenever it'll just come you yeah. know like you just keep saying it and then it'll just keep coming i like what you told me is that something you read said a woman would like do it at every red light she stopped at. yeah yes, yes. Mm. a money miracle happens to me today yep. and then should attract money to you yep Mm -hmm. and if you guys don't know if you haven't watched that episode i think it's literally like the second episode Mm -hmm. we ever done Mm -hmm. tips from the witch talk yes no no, i think we're just going over our books and then i was like talking about what i read in in pure magic oh love it yeah but also check out the witch talk episode too because that's pretty fun (laughs) um um oh my gosh okay so you you uh have done uh tarot very lightly Mostly with us. Mm-hmm. Um, Exclusively with you guys. Oh, okay. Just us. <laughs> and now, yeah, now it's only us that read your cards. You yes. can't go to anyone else. I know. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. We are Maria's guides. <laughs> only. Or her my tarot guides. guides. Yes. Yeah. Only. Okay. But, um, and you are, you're, yeah, you're just like us. You're, you are like our target audience. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like witchy, light, curious, witch curious. Which, yes. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and like, yeah, so keep listening. Thank you for listening also, yeah. first and foremost. Yeah, um, it's super fun. So I want to know, without getting into too much detail and very very broad strokes, Overview. what are you looking to get read today? What is your, what do you, what are we, your, what are we looking at? What's your concern? Um, money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. What about it? Um, where is it or I have where too much is of it? it? No, I'm trying to enter my rich bitch era. Okay. Oh, I love that. Um, Me too. Yeah, yeah, same. But I don't quite know if I'm on the right path or if I need to shake some things up. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I just feel like I, I've been working really hard and I just want to be able to also enjoy life. Mm-hmm. And I feel like money helps you do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. We live in a, as we always say, we live in a capitalist society. It's true. That's the thing. We can't escape that. Yeah. And I feel like, like... I've always been someone that's like, oh, money isn't important. Like, you got to do what you love, whatever. Yeah. And I feel like recently I'm just like. It's hard to do that. But I feel like to do what I love, I actually need money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, I'd like to go to the doctor and the dentist sometimes. Exactly. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Everything costs money. I, I want to, like, go on a trip. Like, yeah. I want to be able to know that if I crash my car, I'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, you know. Not too much. Yeah. Just you a know. little bit. A little bump. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what we're going to do now is, uh, now that we know it's, that it's a, just a finance um, reading, uh, we're going to present two cards. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, and I, had just, I just walked over to grab my other deck. Because at first I was like, oh, I'm going to offer this deck. But then I think just my usual Pagan Other Worlds OC deck will be good. Oh, this is not, I grabbed the wrong deck. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Witch problems, right? <laughs> but I also feel like money and career are kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, of course. I think both will come to come through yeah. at the same time. Yeah. So I'm going to present this deck to you. Okay. This is my um, Spirit Speak deck, which is my kind of bread and butter. So we're just going to ask you to take a look at the two decks and you can use whichever one you want. Yeah. Feel free to pick them up, go through them, yeah. look at the, Whatever see speaks what speaks to you. you. Yeah. yeah. They're both very different, but, and they each have their own personality, which is fun. Mm. Can I know ahead of time what their personality is? This one is a little more gentle. And this one is like, I would tell you like it is. And mm. I don't care about your feelings. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one, Devin's one is really sassy, but mine is like. This is so pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Marie has chosen the Spirit, Spirit Speak, Speak deck, which is Devin's go-to deck. Mm -hmm. um, and so now what we're going to have you do um, is, could you knock three times on the deck? That's to kind of like wake it up. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay, perfect. Oh, oh no. I knocked my microphone out. Okay. Um, and then uh, we're going to have you, while you're telling us the details of the situation, um, shuffle the deck. Okay. And yeah. this can be however you want. Like, yeah, whatever feels natural. Whatever way. You don't have to be neat if you don't want. Or okay. you can be neat. I like to have that disclaimer because I feel like people are like, oh, this isn't mine, so I'm going to be gentle with it or whatever. But I'm like, well, fuck it up. <laughs> Um, they're not like what, very bendy no my well i would love for them to become bendy okay. but through use all right um but i one of my first tarot readings was i went to this like house on the side of the road in new jersey and she had these really thick big cards wow. and the only way i could actually shuffle them was like she was like put them on the table and go like this mm. and so like that's how i my first experience with tarot was was just like being a total big old mess and then my I was with a friend mm -hmm. my friend was like Devin what are you doing and the lady reprimanded her she was like stop she's putting her energy in. yeah well that's what I'm saying is like I always want to just be like like do it how whatever feels natural to you mm -hmm. because I, I I think that the way that you described is such a you way to do it and yeah. then like for me I would just be like you know I would just shuffle normally or mm -hmm. like even with like when Myra was on, she was like separating it into like four piles and then mm -hmm. shuffling those and then shuffling those again. And then like even like I see you, you're doing like you're a two, two piles and then like you're shuffling those two and then you're going to probably shuffle them into each other. Yeah. again. But <laughs> anyway, while you're shuffling, um, before you finish shuffling, get let's get into okay. um, the details. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So I don't know. I feel like. I've been graduated from UCLA for like a year and a half. But that being said, I also feel like I have, uh, I've been doing like film post-production stuff for probably like eight years, like including school stuff. Like, cause oh, I amazing. Also... I didn't know you were that experienced. I had no idea. I mean, I feel like actually like per on a personal level, I like don't know you that well. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I learned so much about you in the last like 30 minutes. I know. Yeah. I feel like the program is set up in a way where like you kind of just talk about like what's going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. But like it's hard to like actually get to know people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know what else I'm doing with this. But oh. I also have my microphone. Is Maybe continuing. if we loop. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Thank you. Um, yeah. So I... I've been doing post-production for a while, but uh, like it's also been a lot in a school kind of setting or it's been kind of like ran random freelance stuff. So I feel like when I apply to things, like it looks like I'm right out of school, but I'm like, no, I've actually been doing this for like a long time yeah. and like I know things. And so I think I am like, yeah, kind of apprehensive to apply to certain things because I don't maybe technically look like I meet the requirements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I feel like, I don't know. I just feel ready to like be paid like a professional, I mm -hmm. guess. Right. Um, you feel ready to step into the next. Yeah. Group. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, I feel like I'm, I just got married. Like I'm just trying to, you step are adulting into, it. Up. I'm just trying to step into this next phase of my life where like, I am more comfortable and I'm not living like a student. Yeah. And seriously. I have a the rich bitch era. Yeah. Like exactly. You're saying. I feel that. Yeah. Are you like me entering? Well, I just, I'm 31 now, mm -hmm. so I'm about to turn 32 and mm -hmm. I feel like, I feel like I'm entering that. I know an age is just a number and that's all that stupid shit, but like, I really do feel like 
I made it over some kind of hump after my late 20s and like mm-hmm. into my early 30s. I'm like, okay, here we are. We're in our early 30s. Now I, now I have to show up. Totally. Do you feel like that? Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we have spread the cards out. Yeah, I have. Okay, while we were talking, I have laid out the Celtic cross. Um, and immediately we have in the one position, the Knight of Wands reversed. In the two position, we have the six of cups. I like this. Yeah. We don't usually get cups. Yeah. That's um, true. Like with this deck. Yeah. Um, the three of wands. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. It's the the hanged man reversed is in the three spot. In the four spot is the three of wands reversed. Lots of reverse, too. Mm-hmm. Um, we have the two of swords in the five spot. In the six spot, the devil beat. Oh, bow, bow, shit. Bow. I love it. Favorite card. Um, Ace of Swords. Then in seven, eight, we have, what is that? The Nine of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Fool reversed. And we have, also interesting. And um, in the future outcome, the 10 spot, we have, what is that? The Three Three of of Pentacles. Pentacles. I feel like this spread is interesting. Okay, my first, let's do like a spreads first impression. Because my first impression of this spread is lots of reversed. Um... But like a good mix of like both face cards and trump cards, right? Is that what they're called? Trump cards? The bigger ones? Uh, yeah. The, I mean, they're, they're major, major arcana. arcana. Yeah, yeah, a good mix of kind of everything. Not like overly dominantly like swords or anything like that. We have wands. We have cups. We have the devil. We have the fool. Um, we have swords. We have pentacles. Well, from what I've learned in basically, I feel like this podcast has really helped um, – me personally, the whole repetition of knowing the posi- like the mm-hmm. positions of the Celtic cross. Um, mm-hmm. And I know that the devil, like right off the bat, this mm-hmm. is what I know. So the devil is about um, like your like vices. So whether this be money, drugs, alcohol, sex, like these are things that are kind of like internal battles that um, you may have. Mm-hmm. Um or like obsession over one of these things. And this is in the kind of like future outcome spot. Well, no, this is in the um, yeah, it's obstacles that face you. Future outcome, 10. Right, but isn't that past and then past, this is the and then this is, I future? Think, obstacles that are in front of you. Oh, now and this is in the past present. obstacles that are Oh, I see. Away. Okay. Yeah. So maybe this whole, maybe you're obsessed with money. And maybe that's the lesson. Or someone around you. Well, well let's get to it. Let's yeah. let's dive in here with number one, yes. which is the reverse Knight of Wands. Mm-hmm. And so, What's your sign, by the way? Cancer. Cancer. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you cry at everything. <laughs> I kind of, I mean, I just told you about how I cried <laughs> yeah, so that's much true. at my best friend's wedding. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's all I know about, like, cancers. And then, and then um, very, like very touchy people apparently do you feel that that's true do you are you big into astrology and stuff i'm not super big into astrology but i'm i'm open yeah Yeah. that's how i feel it's like know your moon and rising yes my moon is gemini and my rising is aquarius (laughs) oh fun so that's why you're so much fun (laughs) there you go that makes sense i think is is Hmm. am i i'm also a gemini something main I think I'm a Gemini something. Like my my moon no, I'm a Scorpio Scorpio. Yeah. Aquarius, Scorpio, Scorpio. And then yeah. whatever the next thing is, I feel like is a Gemini. Mm. That could be anything. <laughs> that could be your Mars, <laughs> Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, All first right, well, to twelfth house. Is a Gemini too. Um helpful over here. <laughs> um, so this is in reverse. And I can tell you now this is about, so this position, the one position about is about like you, like your general state, right? Right, Devin? Um, yes, this is, this is your general state. Exactly. Here, let me tell you what it says like, By the word book. for word. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this card covers it's you like, and describes your immediate concerns. It's like you now, what you're concerned about. Okay. So, um, Knight of Wands in reverse is about self-doubt and hesitation. Um, this is, uh, yeah, it's indicating self-doubt in a general sense, but most likely related, related to a specific goal or situation that hasn't progressed in the way you'd hope. 
Oh my gosh, it's exactly what you're yeah. saying. Okay, um, it says delays and misunderstanding are a part of life, not a sign to give up. There may be a different and better course of action to take. So have patience and make use of this time by turning into your tuning into your intuition for guidance. So it sounds like, um, I mean, obviously it, it's kind of pointing exactly to what you're saying in mm -hmm. that you have all this experience but then you've just gotten out of grad school and like maybe you're wanting some upward momentum but not like struggling to find that and so um yeah mine has specifically it has notes about money and work mm -hmm. so when it talks about money it advises you not to take a financial risk right now oh, oh it gosh. says it could mean you're spending more than you can afford oh. um it says <laughs> When it's talking about work, it can indicate restlessness or a need for a job change. Mm. Um, yeah, and then it, again, what Christy mentioned about being delayed or postponed. Mm -hmm. So something about <clears throat> you feeling restless, you thinking, which is kind of what you were saying, which is like yeah. you wanting to step into your own, but like maybe thinking or maybe experiencing a imaginary barrier mm -hmm. real or imaginary something mm -hmm. um and then this is your immediate concern so that makes sense yeah yeah, yeah this so. all this all Tra drives. tracking this all, yeah yeah so Ooh. the second position card is a six of cups i know it crosses you this card crosses you and describes obstacles facing you maybe i was wrong about this one obstacles facing you yeah okay. i thought that one was like a some kind of future thing well anyway we'll get to it so six of cups um i have this is about uh harmony and memories a loving exchange of support and care feels like home um let's see for career money working with children feels really good for you having the support of your family or feeling like your coworkers are a family motivates you to focus and achieve try to nurture feelings of harmony and support that work i mean you just got married Mm -hmm. So I feel like maybe this whole, it's like, I mean, that, like, getting married is definitely like a change of status, you know? It's mm -hmm. like you now share your life with, like, another person in, um, like, I mean, you guys have been together for a while, but, like, you know, now it's, like, in a whole it's paperwork legal. way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you, you, like, share, you can share a bank account. You, like, you can mm -hmm. see each other, like, in the hospital, all that. I feel like this is where my cards are going to start to be telling it like it is yeah okay yeah. so in a reading about money you may be clinging to a time in the past when your financial picture was brighter um is that reversed oh yeah sorry sorry maybe they're not going to be reading the <laughs> um oh oh this is great news yeah it was like you just got <laughs> mad i was like oh it's about harmony and family <laughs> in a reading about money this card suggests an upswing in your finances um, perhaps after a time of loss or limitation. Mm -hmm. I think limitation is more of the keyword. Mm -hmm. um, it can represent a joint venture. There you we go. Don't know, joint ventures be coming up for us a lot, Chrissy. That's true. A lot, a lot of car, like our readings, um, always are always suggesting like, oh, go into business with somebody or like partnering mm -hmm. with somebody. But I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. Our industry is all about who you know. So that, mm -hmm. I don't know, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. A joint venture in which you share expenses and profits with others. Wait, you're literally, that's literally a marriage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's literally a marriage. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it indicates a debt to be, re or a debt repaid. Um, and if this is about your job, it shows renewed enthusiasm for your work. Um, perhaps a change offers you more creativity or improved work environment. So again, something about a change, mm -hmm. limitation, changing, developing new skills can benefit you now. So oh, these are obstacles okay. that are facing you. So I but the last two are obstacles. This one is like what? Yeah, this one. The six of 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 uh, of cups mm -hmm. is an obstacle facing you. So I okay. I think. Both of the cards speak to it like, says it, minute change. Yeah, I, I think it. I think I feel like it, this is about like getting married and that change of status because it's like this is something that's either opposing or blocking your situation. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're looking to for this upward momentum, but maybe it's hard because you know you're no longer just thinking about you as a single person. Yeah, and out there, it's mm -hmm. like there's like you know you and your partner. Right, and like that that's something different too and um 
comfortability takes on a different meaning when you're, it's not just you, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we, I literally today, we had our first um, married budget meeting. <gasps> <gasps> oh my gosh. How so, did it go? <laughs> yeah. It was good. I mean, I don't know. I mean, these things, we, I tried to make it fun by being like, I'll make pancakes and we'll yeah. oh sit my down gosh. with Excel. But, you know. Oh, my God. This is giving me agita. I, I can't. It's <laughs> stressing me. The money meeting. I can't. I, <laughs> You're an accountant. What do I you know, mean? I know. I'm an accountant now. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's so funny. I but, mean, hey, maybe it speaks to that. It's like, yeah, it's different. I think it's something that's different and something that you're probably both working towards and trying to, like, fit in your life, maybe, mm-hmm. and in your, your goal, like, your goal trajectory mm-hmm. needs to, like, fit that yeah. in. But also when, like, thinking specifically about just job, I think both cards were, like, maybe looking to something different or, like, changing maybe not careers, but, like, workplaces, something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Maybe what they're saying, too. I don't know. Yeah. Do you have options? I mean, I'm always open to other options Mm -hmm. okay the three position is we have the hangman in reverse this crowns you and describes what's known to you already objectively yeah you're what you're conscious of regarding your situation Mm -hmm. yeah and this be the hangman yes in reverse in reverse so for me in my book um this is about impatience and inertia oh my god exactly tracks Okay, so um, it says the reverse hangman in your reading is telling you not to fight your current circumstances or force forward movement. Delays are annoying, but the divine is trying to show you something you may have otherwise missed before. You may feel eager to begin the next part of your journey, but (gasps) instead quiet your mind and listen for intuitive messages. There is much to be gained in stillness. So, No, but she was wanting to step into it. No, I know. So then it's like if, I don't know, it's like um, say if you're trying to like live that rich bitch life Mm -hmm. you know but like you're not ready for that like you can't support that Mm -hmm. then that kind of like turns into more harm than good you know yeah are you at a crossroads i don't know oh the way you said that Devin. oh my god are you at a crossroads um physically right now no um okay it says you're at a crossroads, but you can't make a decision. You're swinging in the breeze. Mm. So to move forward, you must spend time in spiritual development, but you may not be willing to do that. So perhaps you're not paying attention to your real needs, and this is causing you frustration. So it, it posits a few questions. Are you sacrificing some part of yourself unnecessarily or refusing to sacrifice what really needs to go? Or are you unable to see a matter clearly? Are you hung up about something? Are you being true to yourself? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. In a reading about money, it means you're clinging to materialistic ideas. I mean, rich bitch. There you go. (laughs) When you really should work on spiritual development. So maybe it says it should come from within. It's time to be witchy. But it says you should know this objectively. Oh, that's true. Deep down, do you know? Like, like sometimes the hangman reverse warns you um, you could be headed for a loss if you don't willingly let go of the past. Good. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. How, yeah. How do you feel? Like, does it make sense in any aspect of your life? What? Okay. If the reading is about your work, you may feel tied to a job you don't like or that's going nowhere because you're unwilling to make a change. Or you may lack direction or motivation. Instead of seeking the work that's right for you, you're just hanging out. Hanging out. That's what it says. These cards are bitches. That's what I told you. Yeah. I mean, hey, I I do love my job, Mm -hmm. but I I get where it's coming from. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Maybe it's because this these two were like, okay, maybe make a little bit of a change here. And this one's like, you're just chilling. You need to make a change. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's like, you know, this deep down. Yeah. And are maybe not willing to make that change. Yeah. It says get spiritual with yourself. I mean, obviously that's scary, but you know, there's, it feels like, you know, the right answer deep down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, Like if you want to be in a place where you feel like valued and respected and like, you know, there's. Then you got to go. 
<laughs> Let, let's see what the other cards say yeah, let's yeah. see what the other cards let's say let's get to the future outcome spot first yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna move to the four position which is the three of wands reversed and it lies beneath you and describes the foundation of the concern or past influences affecting a situation it can show what's it can show you what you don't know yeah it's like subconsciously yeah. like you're not aware of it but it's there yeah okay so um i have um oh my god i have delays and disappointment is what this card means so um it can indicate delays in your plans or a disconnection from a relationship or group of friends this may be frustrating and disappointing but as part of divine timing and an important part of your learning journey this reversal may indicate that there is a better solution available to you that has yet to present itself remaining flexible and patient is what is required at this time this is the second card that says something about you needing to hone your skills Mm -hmm. it specifically says perhaps you could benefit from honing your skills and i think that's what the other card said too um it says i don't know what that means though i know Mm -hmm. but uh it says um some areas of of understanding still need your clarification um but you may need to win the support and blessing of others in order to advance um it suggests you're not ready yet to market yourself Mm -hmm. um but you feel passionately about what you're doing but you still have to convince other people to get on board with your ideas Mm -hmm. Um, for artistic people, this card advises don't give up your day job yet. Okay. I, for some reason, this is telling me because it mentioned something about like, um, other people. And I'm wondering if this is about like network, Mm -hmm. you know, and this is obviously that's something that like can be unconscious. You you want other people to value you for what you have to offer. Mm -hmm. Um, so we need to get them on board. Yeah, or it could be like, you know, it it could be about finding the, like you, it could be saying that you haven't yet found those people that you can truly trust and rely on and that will have your Mm. back, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like right now, maybe you're like a cog in the wheel and like they're, you know, like obviously that, that doesn't, that doesn't feel like, you know, the family that we saw in the other, Mm -hmm. um, other cards and that could be something that you could because it says like you need to work on honing something and i feel like, like they're like make a change don't give up your day job make a change yeah, yeah. So well what it's, saying. Yeah. i mean this is it about like my head it's like, about yeah. like delays so it's like obviously I, I think it's saying that like you are not going to get your rich bitch lifestyle tomorrow mm-hmm. you know and it's i think it's like a slow and steady progression that has these things that should I just talk through this plane? Yeah. Okay. That has these... Sorry about the plane. Um, I think it has steps and seeds that need sowing, you mm. know? like And, you know, that's the hardest part is, like, planting the seeds and then, like, getting it past those little, like, seedling sprouts mm-hmm. into, a, like, a real plant, you know? And I feel like that's probably what this is saying is that, like, mm. um, you may be feeling... Like, the hangman reverse is, like, you may be feeling, like, restless, but don't be hasty about it and yeah. like make sudden changes because there's something that could be not necessarily gained from the job that you like staying in the job and mm-hmm. staying in this place where you're not too sure about it but there's like there are other moves that you could make and develop other relationships maybe yeah you can other develop. skills to hone but i i think too like it just listening to you talk mm-hmm. about that was like yeah, of course, we all kind of know this thing objectively of like, I'm going to stay with my job until I get a better job. Right. right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, you don't have to go anywhere to keep developing your own self, you know, and mm-hmm. to be looking for things beyond what you currently have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, OK, the five spot. The five spot is what is behind you and describes past influences now fading away and look christy she's looking this way oh yeah you're looking on ahead. the tight she's walking the tightrope yeah there's across- a girl oh yeah okay so there's a storm cloud and it's raining and there's these two dangerous swords. oh this is isn't this the saddest card in the whatever it's like the two that's the three of 
swords. Oh, okay. This is yeah. two swords. Never but mind. she's walking. I feel like she's confidently walking over. She's above like the rain coming down. And the danger. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what this means. So these, what did I say? This lies behind you. Yeah, it's like your past events that are affecting your current away. situation. Yeah. Okay. So I have, um, the, so the two of swords upright is all about indecision and self-protection. Re- refusal to see the truth. This is the past, remember. Refusal to see the truth not only blocks your intuition, but also prevents any further movement leading to leaving you trapped in limbo um taking time to consider all options before making a career or investment decision um you f- you found yourself feeling indecisive and avoiding financial choices for fear of negative outcomes um and it's saying don't hesitate too long listen to your intuition and choose options that make sense on a gut level so this was your past so it sounds like mm-hmm. there was something kind of like stopping you holding you back due to finances, something about, like, decisions having to be made. I actually like this. I feel like it really speaks to what we were talking about. It says, if the reading is about your job, you may be confused or conflicted about a work-related issue. Mm -hmm. Um, But both, uh, when it comes to your job and money, it says, have faith in your own judgment and ideas. Um, Pay attention to your intuition as well as logic. Um, in a reading about money, the upright two recommends trusting your own wisdom and inner guidance in a financial manner. Mm-hmm. So it seems like you clearly did that. There was something that was going on with money and, and maybe you, you know, found your way through it. Yeah. I think that I, I always have kind of had a pretty good, like sense like i've always been pretty good with money Mm -hmm. um but i feel like right now it's just like i'm feeling stuck like i'm being good with the money that i have but it's like i want more want to take it to the next (laughs) level yeah 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 Yeah. okay i feel so then let's talk about what is before you and describes new circumstances coming into being in the near future my god it's a devil you're gonna have like you're gonna yes Maybe it's the maybe it, this is about like the whole rich bitch era and yes. overspending. It's coming into being overspend, oh. or it, it, you could be become too obsessed with it and spend too much. I mean, I, I no, don't know. no possible, <laughs> not in this society. <laughs> oh my gosh! But well, you know, it's the only way to get ahead. The devil mm-hmm. is all about you know. It's about addiction and sabotage. So the devil shows us the places in our lives where we are chained to self sabotage. Through this understanding, we set ourselves free. So um, you are nurturing an unhealthy relationship to money <gasps> or indulging workaholic tendencies. Mm. Oh. Do, you find, do you feel like you're a workaholic or do you have a good work-life balance? I want a better work-life balance than I have. Okay. Maybe it's I a think. little both. You're like, I got to chase this dream. I have to work. Yeah. Like, maybe it's that hustle mentality thing. Yeah. I feel like I just want a certain like lifestyle as well. And I feel like I just like, you know. I, it yeah. says... It can indicate your chain to your job. So um, perhaps you're craving the status your position will give Mm you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, But it warns against engaging in questionable practices to get ahead. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, mine also says that um, it says the devil can indicate that you are due to release yourself from a situation involving a controlling boss or a toxic work environment. Perhaps you are staying in a job for the wrong reasons. But, you know, don't quit your day job. (laughs) Yeah. 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 I I think, yeah. I mean, obviously, like, protect yourself and your livelihood. But also, you know, there's a a balance. I think this is all about knowing the truth of where you're at and working to change it while kind of, it's like staying is it where it? you're at but yeah, like yeah doing the work to like don't fuck yourself elevate. up yeah like yeah. look look still keep your eyes open to other options and yeah. pursue yeah it's like yeah, how can don't. you step forward with that or even maybe if you without burning your bridges mm-hmm. yeah it's like you don't want to sometimes you keep just sidestepping so that you're on the same level mm-hmm. but you need to do like maybe it's little increments of diagonal yeah honing those skills and like yeah doing this while kind of getting when you finally get to the place where you're at when then you can spend all the money you don't just <laughs> blow all my but don't, savings don't yes. overdo it you know that's what it says <laughs> um okay then the, the next the card seven card yes is um i never remember this one. current state of mind 
Oh, okay. This is the Ace of Swords. It's a strong card. Um, we have, oh, this is about clarity and new ideas. So this is what you're thinking right now. The gift of clarity and new ideas is being presented to you. Be open to receiving this gift from the divine. Um, you are uncovering new ideas for increasing or expanding your business or, you know, your money. Mm. Um, clarity and insight on how to improve your money situation are finally emerging. This is a time of new beginnings in your career that may include starting a business or earning a promotion within an existing company. Mm. Hmm. Okay. So that sounds promising. I mean, you're in this, obviously, you're in the state of mind of trying to, like, grow mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and your, your finances. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, maybe it's saying to think about those ideas, but also don't, you know, don't fuck up don't what you have. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like within reason, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is her current state of mind, right? Mm -hmm. So you may be experiencing frustration or delays in getting your idea off the ground. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this card represents. Oh, it doesn't offer me anything else besides that. It's just delays in getting your idea off the ground. Mm -hmm. And um, it may rec like represent um, discord in the workplace. Discord? Dis You're reading the upright, right? No. <laughs> Oh, because I was like, that's the opposite of what I'm saying. What the fuck, <laughs> dude? I keep doing that every single time. Okay, sorry. Ignore what I just said. I'm going to cut that out. Um, okay. If this reading is about your work, the card suggests starting a job that involves communication. You have an opportunity to use your intellect productively or to express your philosophical spiritual views. You're saying you're smart. Clarity and focus. <laughs> yeah. Aww, Indicate. So um, oh, it can, again, with like, developing skills mm -hmm. it can indicate starting a course of study that will further your career so okay. maybe we go back to school oh my <laughs> god <laughs> sorry cards um we're if, done with that if the reading is about money it can represent the birth of an idea or the start of an intellectual project that could bring profit mm -hmm. um it could also mean negotiating a contract or discussing financial issues both of which we just did you i mean you yeah. did say well maybe we cut we I think we cut this out, but you had mentioned that there was a little bit of that that was mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. So maybe mm -hmm. it's saying keep pushing that. And then also, I mean, do you have any like side projects or little business ideas that you have brewing? Like or maybe do you, Carla, are you ever going to work together? Yeah. I mean, we've always talked about like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to have a production company? Power I, couple. I just have like no yes. idea how to like even begin to get clients and that kind of stuff. Yeah. I, That's the hardest part. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. So I feel like. But what if you work? on it while staying in your job i know i feel like there that's what i'm feeling within myself is that there's <gasps> there you go i think this take this as a sign yeah. of yes follow that thread of thought it's like there's something that i like need to be doing beyond just like working for yourself mm -hmm. like for myself to kind of like build this next stage yeah. honing of skills honing exactly of skills. that's like the yeah. whole next level thing i that you 100%. know within mm -hmm. oh my god and you knew this mm -hmm. yeah all along mm -hmm. Follow follow that thread of thought. I think that's... It's just is, one of those... It's, it's, like, hard to actually do these things, like, outside of work. Like, I, I, I know. Mean, it's exa it's exhausting. I honestly. feel like you guys understand. How yeah. it yes. Is. It's, like, yes. you want to kind of just chill when you, like, get I off know. of you work. So, you want to turn off your brain, We're man. so... It, it's such a demanding... Um, not just industry yeah. yeah you know so like when you're done with your day i mean it's the industry where your standard day is 12 hours like mm -hmm. come on um you get done you're exhausted like you're probably fucking hungry like mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. just want to chill that's the thing yeah it's like i'm on 50 hour weeks right now and yeah. i'm just like work-life balance yeah that's the thing too it's like mm -hmm. I, I also want to like go to the beach and just yeah. like okay. hang out on my time off but yeah. i do also want to be building so it's like i'm guess i'm struggling with how to like maintain that balance so i'm going to who wants more wine sure i'm going to go ahead and say that now that you said that mm -hmm. these cards are giving me work smarter not harder mm. you know like find out a way to use less energy mm -hmm. by doing something a little bit differently that will get you ahead mm. you know because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, it feels like you're working through this like you're slogging through it and it's hard and like and you're undervalued underpaid maybe perhaps who knows um but uh 
maybe we work smarter, not harder. We try to figure out something that will give you you have to like create that jump for yourself you know mm-hmm. what I mean mm-hmm. but I think you already know like you have all the skills already like of course there's things everyone can hone all the time but I mean you have the experience you have the knowledge you have a network mm-hmm. so maybe all of it takes is just some little extra mm-hmm. or yeah. something yeah. to try to like get ahead of these fuckers that don't face fuckers. I don't know your boss. I don't know. <laughs> um, no, they're, sorry. they're lovely. Yeah, I do. I, that's the thing. I do really love the people that I work with, and I think that that's part of the struggle. Is like, yeah, yeah. I do really love coming to work every day, and yeah. like, I'm working on a project that I'm interested in and all yeah. that. But at the same time, it's like I want to be in more of almost like a. I want to be like higher up on the totem pole. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to just be taking orders. And I I'm wanna like, be... I'm like, how do we trick these people to get us there? Yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. let's do that. Let's work smarter, not harder. Let's, Honestly. Mm-hmm. Let's yes. just jump all those steps ahead because you already have all the skills that you have in order to do that. Mm-hmm. You just have to figure out a way to do it while doing all this other shit, too. Yeah. 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 I yeah. mean, fake it till you make it is real. Like, mm-hmm. honestly, that's I all know. anyone ever does. And then have you guys heard of this thing called like uh, quiet quitting? Mm-mm. Is that when you just like you just- ghost on your job emotionally? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's so I, I feel like um, especially uh, like millennials, we are so about this like hustle culture and that you have to it's like you grind hard, you play hard, you like earn your stuff. You like uh, and I feel like that's so ingrained in, in our our generation. And um, there's this kind of new thing called quiet quitting, which kind of does away with that hustle culture mentality. Mm. And it's kind of like instead of like killing yourself to do like the best at this job that's treating you like shit. Maybe just like, do, do the, the bare minimum. minimum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do the bare minimum. Because that's, your that's on us. Mm-hmm. It's like they're not expecting like you don't get anything extra Actually, for doing the best. Christy yeah. really turned me on to this. I don't know if you know this, but. She really? said something to me when I first started my job and because I it's been like four months that I've been in this new position and it's like a f- mentally, physically, mentally demanding because it's I'm doing accounting work for a film production company mm-hmm. and that's something I've never done before in any capacity. So like they hired me because I have film production know how and they were willing to train me on the accounting know how. Mm-hmm. And so like. In the beginning, I was, like, putting in all this extra work, all these extra hours, and Christy was like, your boss doesn't care. It's true. she doesn't. Yeah. 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 Like, she doesn't, you mean, like, she doesn't see what you're doing and kind of, like... you don't, it's not like you get, I mean, obviously, there's overtime hours, but it's, like, you're not gonna, it's, like, if you give that extra, like, personal care Mm -hmm. to the job Mm -hmm. especially when it doesn't call for it you are not going to get like a either a a pat on the back or extra money from that no Mm -hmm. and that doesn't benefit you it only benefits them and like we are working in these like big large systems most of the times in corporations that like really don't give a shit about you mm-hmm. as a person mm-hmm. like, and, they're not, a, and and it doesn't matter how much and maybe you can exp- it doesn't matter how mm-hmm. much you can scream at them in their face that they're being unfair to you it's like it doesn't they'll just get someone else mm-hmm. you know yeah so then it's like if you're giving in like 110 percent, mm-hmm. they're just gonna take that 10 percent for free yeah and you're just giving them that 10 percent for free mm-hmm. right. so then this whole like quiet quitting thing is like well just give them the 95 percent that's like you guys seen office space yes <laughs> i actually haven't oh okay oh it's so funny it's so funny yeah i know I um there's he literally does that starts showing up to his job and like stops giving a fuck and they love him 10 times more oh my god yeah yeah so i feel like as long as you are getting your task and job like done in mm-hmm. the way that it needs to be done like you don't need all this extra effort and work if it's not called for that's just like draining you and then make that's what's making us like i mean there are other things that make us burnt out but i think that has a lot to do with it because we yeah. set ourselves up to be like oh i gotta grind hard i'm gonna get there like whatever mm-hmm. eight forty-five for like a nine o'clock but thing you're grinding like, for what it's like you could sleep an extra 15 minutes mm-hmm. <laughs> that yeah. makes a big difference another another thing i i also so i think about that thing chrissy told me a lot okay. and i think about this other thing which is only live a little take long lunches 
<laughs> take long lunches and that's why when i would like freak the fuck out if i was like not back after my lunch on time yeah and then I'm i like that. realized no one cared yeah 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 so i'll go get my nails done during lunch now and i'll be <laughs> 15 minutes late yeah yeah, yeah. you know yeah, yeah. So, I mean, maybe that's also because I'm not sure about your work situation, but that just totally came to mind because it's like, oh, if you're like, you're just like, I'm putting in all this work and effort and no mm-hmm. one's like, um, no one, no one cares and this mm-hmm. and that. It's like, maybe just save the effort. Yeah, then maybe keep it. Like, put that into like you and Carla's production company. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, like that extra little 10% or whatever, like 15% save that for you instead of giving it to them for free yeah i do feel like it's this kind of like honor student syndrome thing that i've always yes had. you're like oh <laughs> let me be the, like... the good student and get rewarded for it but yeah. it, you just don't get that reward in the in, the, in the real world, world. No, yeah. yeah exactly and i don't want to totally get in trouble person i never want to get in trouble like mm-hmm. i don't want to be the one i don't yeah. want to be the one that causes you any issues mm-hmm. but in reality i'm not going to be causing you any issues because i'm not that type of person like it right. just inherently i'm gonna be fine mm-hmm. and you're gonna be happy with me because i'm showing up i have a good attitude like and i'm not giving you there's people that go to work that make people's lives fucking hard i know mm-hmm. I'm, that is the, one of the things that i realized too with this job is that they had this uh, other person working for them for a while that was making their lives really difficult yeah and just like they were just kind of taking mm-hmm. it for a while and and it's just like here i am like trying to do kind of make their lives so much easier right. and it's like you know and but you get nothing in return yeah. ultimately that's the thing yeah so that's the tea y'all don't don't <laughs> quit don't quit and you know obviously don't quit your day job but, but quiet quitting maybe maybe just yeah. quit don't just take back your your 15 percent of effort that you've been giving away for free Mm -hmm. i think it does a world of difference especially in this culture where everyone is so burnt out Mm -hmm. like seriously yeah self-care is like no joke yeah for real yeah yeah. okay uh where were we part eight um okay circumstances and people surrounding the situation and i see money 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 this is nine of pentacles right the numbers are on top yep okay oh this card's kind of cool it's like a hand with jewelry holding a treasure chest Oh, and there's like, it's very cool. I think I think this is good. So what I have, nine of pentacles in the nine position, and this is about people, right? People surrounding, or people or circumstances around the situation. Oh, okay. So this could be your circumstance uh, regarding your future finances and steps in your um, your career. It says success and enjoyment. Ooh, we were coming just about soon. That. Okay, so luxuriate in your prosperity. Feeling gratitude for all that you've been able to achieve. So financial security is yours. So relax and enjoy what you've achieved. Take a break if you've been overworking. Since rest and relaxation relaxation will recharge you when you return. Work can wait. You'll still be abundant after a well-deserved vacation. You just said you hey, want to take a vacation, right? Also, like, you guys are psychics because that's all of what you just said. Wait. That's true. We were literally just talking <laughs> wait, about that. And I love this. So this... This card, the Nine of Pentacles, specifically has like a little self, like a little aside from this. Mm-hmm. And it says, some tarotists, include a bar- including Barbara Moore, uh, I don't okay, know where, Barbara Moore, author of the Gilded Tarot Companion, oh. see this card as representing a self-made woman independent of a man's support and rightful proprietor <gasps> That's of you, her own you domain. You literally don't need no man. <laughs> yeah, literally. Literally, literally <laughs> not a man in sight. <laughs> yes. And, um... Only 27 years before English-born Pamela Coleman Smith became, she was the, she did the paintings in the Rider Waite deck, mm. the original, like, those tarot pictures that are, like, oh, uh-huh. yeah, tri- like, that you would imagine. Yeah, yeah. Um, 27 years before she made the drawings, England's parliament passed the Married Women's Property Act of 1882, which allowed married women to own property. Oh my God. Before that time, a woman surrendered her holdings to her husband upon marriage and any property she gained during the marriage became her husband's. Oh, I know. So in reading about, um, your job, uh, indicates a time of success and recognition. Like you said, you've reached, you've reached a position of security, respect, and you feel proud of your achievement. Perhaps now you can have some more free time. Um, 
I mean, this is saying it. This enjoying is current, the fruits of your labor. Current situation, right? Uh, people surrounding you. Or current, or current. You said current oh, situation. Um, circumstances, people surrounding the situation. Oh, okay. circumstances or people, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it it sounds like it sounds like you're if you were feeling like you weren't doing good, like you. I think this is a reminder that you are doing good. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I, I think that this is maybe a step stone towards the life you... I mean, like, let me put it this way. I think even the richest people in the world wish that they had more money. You know? Sure. As we level up, our, our ambitions grow. Mm-hmm. You know, they just keep growing. Yeah. And then as we get towards our like we reach our milestones we have new milestones and new goals that are bigger and better and it's like we're always going to be chasing that dream so maybe this is just a little reminder of like pat yourself on the back yeah like you've made it this far which is incredible i mean you're working as like a co-editor on like a pbs show that's going to come out next year i mean that's amazing yeah (laughs) amazing like pbs oh my gosh like the learning network yes i love (laughs) i I mean as a kid i love pbs like what i watch on there like dragon tales and like like all werner herzog stuff on pbs really i think so probably he's he seems like a pbs bitch yeah yeah but so that's what i'm getting from this card is like luxuriate a little like you've earned it but also you know obviously you're trying to climb the ladder to success what'd you read i'm reading ahead oh no (gasps) oh no okay okay let's let let's go it seems like it's good now um (laughs) give yourself a pat on the back no it's not bad i just am shooketh so oh my god! It okay. indicates this card indicates what you hope and fear, or what you hope is it, or fear. This is a nine position, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's either your hope or your fear, or a little bit of both. We're gonna yeah. find out as we look into it. But you read ahead, so this is the fool in reverse. This is the second "Don't Quit Your Day Job" card <gasps> in the deck. Okay. Keep going, says, then. Okay. It says you may feel restless and bored, eager to try something new, but it's probably not the right time to act. Mm. It says, "Don't quit your day job." Um, that's not to say what you want is wrong headed, but you need to consider the pros and cons carefully before you walk off the cliff. Yeah. So, um, in a reading about money, you may not have all the information you need to make a well-founded decision. <gasps> no oh impulsivity. God. It says uh, same with the devil. It was like, don't be, in, remember, yeah. don't be, impulsive. don't get obsessed. Yeah. Um, your current situation, if this is about your job, has probably led to a dead end or you've grown bored with your career path that you're on. Maybe this is a fear. I mean, it's hope or fear or hope and fear, right? Time to start strike out in a new direction. Don't do this hastily, however. Gather information and explore possibilities. Yeah, I think so in mine, it kind of gives like two kind of ways to look at it. The one, the first way is like, that it's not the right time to take a risk or jump into something, which is what Devin mm-hmm. kind of mentioned. But it says that it may mean that you're being challenged by your fear of change or experiencing hesitation to step out of your comfort zone. Mm. I mean, what? how do you feel? Because, like, I mean, mm-hmm. obviously you know what you've been through and you know how you feel about it. Um, what are your – do you think it speaks to more of um, – like the hesitation to step out of the comfort zone, a fear of changing something. Mm-hmm. Like you're, you're like maybe you're gonna lose what you what you have now if you change something. Like what are you thinking? Yeah, I do feel like uh, staying where I'm at. Like I could continue to learn things and possibly grow in my role where mm-hmm. I am. Mm-hmm. Um, and so to leave there is a feeling of hesitation because I, I, you know, I'm already here and I don't, I, I I want to get what, you know, what I've already, I want to get the most out of what I've already put in. Right. So I do feel like that kind of push and pull there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So then this is probably more about your fears of like, yeah. It's like, do I take the risk? It's like risk assessment. You know, it's yeah. like, do yeah. I take the risk? What am I going to get? Am I, I going to be it? too hasty? Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, like, do I? Yeah, exactly. I mean, so far, the cards seem like you should hang tight mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and kind of like maybe not look at this job in a different way, but maybe leverage. Diff- like, obviously, you know what you're doing, right? Like, mm-hmm. like resume wise like technical wise but maybe there's more to learn from like these people as a network or more to gain from them in other ways Mm -hmm. yeah Um, maybe we 
the next show or project we jump the ladder a little bit Mm -hmm. maybe maybe it's with them or maybe they can offer you something or could lead to something else yeah yeah yeah. um okay oh my gosh we're at our last card three of pentacles likely future outcome Mm. is this the three of pentacles yes like? yes i see okay. the i see the pentacles okay so are we reversed are we upright? we're upright we're upright because okay. the 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 three is at the top yay this is the likely future outcome okay okay <laughs> and it represents expressing your creativity in a practical way and enjoying your work you've <gasps> developed your skills oh after my god them. the development of the skills yes, you've developed you the work. skills now you gain rewards and recognition from applying your talents constructively other people derive pleasure. So you're gonna from learn something from these people. Yeah, mm-hmm. this card encourages you to market a product, idea, or talent. Mm. Um, okay. If it's talking about money, indicates profiting from your work. You could also think of it as the payback card when your efforts bear fruit. Finally, mm. it may also show it's a financial, yeah, a financial endeavor coming to fruition or at least beginning to prosper. Um, if it's about your job, you're using your abilities fully and achieving success. What yes. you create now should have lasting results. You should be proud. Of, again, the second card of saying you're proud of your results and enjoying them. Mm-hmm. Um, it can indicate a satisfactory completion of a project or job, maybe even the job that you're on. And you can say sayonara or you start something new and you complete that. Yeah, I, I have like pretty much the same thing it's like success new doors opening it's about so it says your career is about to present you with new opportunities apply for the job that scares you let people (gasps) know you're available or take steps towards starting your own business now is the time for you to shine Mm -hmm. so it sounds like if you stick with where you're going um also like you know develop your own thing like Mm -hmm. i feel like develop like do something and develop something that makes you like happy and that brings you joy because you know like life is already so hard sure why not like you know take that 10 15 percent back from your from what you're Mm -hmm. putting in at work Mm -hmm. and put that into something that is going to reinvigorate you like creatively and can also be um fruitful yeah it can also bring you bring in money bring in network and then um it sounds like something great will come that will basically inevitably put you in a place that you always wanted yeah <laughs> that rich yeah, bitch yeah. life you're gonna get the rich we're gonna yes. get it yes. we're gonna str- oh my god we're gonna struggle a little bit at work before we get there but we're gonna get there yes. the cards really said put on hours keep hanging in there yeah, yeah. like make sure you're developing your dreams and mm-hmm. you will get the rich bitch life mm-hmm. i feel like the cards in my two experiences, yes. yeah, they seem to tell me what I kind of already know deep down. Mm-hmm. That's I feel the like validation. I mean, yeah, that's I which think, is also valuable. Like, yes, very. Va- I think that's really what like I, I think, think that's their point. That's yeah, really yeah. what like fortune telling I think is about. It's not like predicting the future mm-hmm. or whatever. It's about like how like what can we know about what's happening now that can help you make steps towards the future you want. Mm-hmm. You know, right. like anything can be changed at any given point in time. Yeah, because mm-hmm. we talk a little bit about now, we talk a little bit about past, and then we talk about future a mm-hmm. little bit. And I think, um, I mean, I'm really impressed with the way that they've laid themselves out, or you have shuffled them out because yeah. literally, it's like, is this what I want? Is this what I want? Is we this have what every, I want? we have, and then it, every single suit. Yeah, and then it becomes. It yeah. becomes something fruitful in the end, mm-hmm. which I think is like super cool and exciting. I can't believe also that it, I'm I'm just always very impressed at how much tarot like lines up. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's literally just like we're Random shuffling cards. cards. Right. Yeah. It's like we're shuffling cards, putting them down in places where we assigned it meaning. Mm-hmm. And like it's, it's incredible. Like and then it tells a story and it like lines up with your story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like that's so crazy. Yeah, and I there has there's something about too. I feel like you guys kind of putting your intuition, like with who who you're reading to. Like mm-hmm. you kind of like reading them, and then you're also reading the cards. And yeah, it's you're like kind of putting pieces. it all together. Yeah, we do like know you. Yeah, yeah, but it's 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 more than just like what you're reading out of the books. Like you're also kind of like reading the situation. Oh, yeah. context clues. Yeah, we can do context clues. Yeah, we got this. We're two Aquariuses. We may be aloof, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. we know what's going on. Whatever. We we like to observe. Yeah, we got this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, 
do you think that like now that you've done two readings exclusively with us mm-hmm. exclusively um like i don't know and i know that you're uh you are very uh witch witchy curious, curious yes. um do you think you're gonna start on it like do you think you'd get your own cards and like maybe yeah practice I mean, magic like can you read for yourself yes of course like you basically say if you were alone like you could do this exact spread for yourself or Mm -hmm. the way i like to do is sometimes i just have like a question about a situation and then i'll just pull like three to five cards and like they'll kind of tell me a little story and i'll put like you know i'll add the cards together their meanings and like get you know Mm -hmm. a, a little cloud of situation about Mm -hmm. what i'm asking Mm -hmm. and like you know i think we have usually like before we started this podcast it was like we were both curious about it and then we would like get together and just like read for each other and Mm -hmm. for like ourselves and then i've like read for myself and like have been kind of learning to do things for myself even though i still have not i know the devil card yeah um and i know the fool uh, right side up like I know a few a few cards we're getting there we know this oops we know the so spread close. and the spreads meaning you totally should do this for yourself you don't need you don't need a psychic you don't need somebody to do your reading I think it helps because you know the whole thing about fortune telling is that it's someone else that you someone don't objective. know yeah. someone that doesn't know your situation mm-hmm. that can like tell you the thing that you know deep down already mm-hmm and that you need that kind of validation or that sounding board. But, um, you know, that can be, like, you can definitely do cards for yourself. So, I don't know. That being said, yeah. you think you're going to get into it? Yeah, why not? <laughs> They're fun. I mean, you just buy them, like, anywhere, like, online. Yeah, no, yeah I was going to give them to Maria as our wedding gift. <laughs> mm. Aww. I know. We should do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You'll expect a deck of cards from us oh. at some point. Mm-hmm. Um. That'll be our new um, shared religion. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Yes, join our coven. Yes. The Church of Wine and Divination. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, let's do a, a wine check-in. Okay. What do we – so we have started kind of this newer thing we, where we are rating our the wine. Um, it's basically five stars, but we like to say, like, you know, how many Devons – out of five Devons, do you give it? Or like how many Marie's out of five Marie's? Okay. So um, what did you think out of five? Um, I don't know. I'll give it a three. Same. Yeah. I almost Two and went, a half, three. I, I'm in the, I'm in the like, I'm in the two camp. I give it two Christie's out of five Christie's because right. I feel that like, this bottle has been open now for like it's breathed yeah like an hour and a half i feel like i mean maybe it's just pinot noirs that i'm not that into like i I feel like it's still tart yeah still watery i think that that um that kind of like full quote-unquote full-bodied like Mm. smoky vibe has like it i think it's gotten a little more fruity but it's still tart and yeah that's not my favorite, but maybe that's a Pinot Noir thing. I don't know. Do you I guys know? I mean, you, you say you love a Pinot Noir, right? I know. This is not my favorite Pinot Noir. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's So it's Pinot not Noir characteristic thing. of a Mm-mm. of a Pinot Noir. I feel like no. I see. Okay. So kinda mid to low rating. So Marie, you had three Marie's out of five. You I have had three Devons. Three Devons out of five. And then I had two. I'm giving it two. Mm-hmm. I feel like normally I'm like, oh, if I like it, I'll give it a five. You know, like <laughs> My past two ones have been like fives, but then this one I'm like, ah, eh, give it a three because yeah. it's, I don't know, I don't know. It's it's drinkable, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. It's drinkable, but it, I'm not impressed. I it is just solidly middle to me. It's it, just, yeah, it's I feel not that. great. It's not terrible. Yeah, you don't take a sip of it. Like sometimes when you take a sip of a good wine, you're like, this. You're like good. Yeah, yeah. I'm That's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. I'm not impressed. This is a yeah. red wine. Yeah. yeah it's this red. is like you know what? This is like back in your Olive Garden days, Devin. This is, a, this is like, oh, I, I ordered a glass of red, and it was the house red, and then they filled it up all the way to the top. Did fill it to the It brim. was like $6. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is how I felt. So, guys, again, this is the uh, Windermere Pinot Noir, Russian River Valley, Sonoma County. It's a 2020. Um, and, yeah, it was middle of the road. 
mm-hmm. for us, okay. I guess. Sorry, mm-hmm. Windermere. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I feel bad. Pretty but... bottle, though. I know. The, really the bottle's really nice. There's, like, all these wispy things. If you want to check marketing. it out, yeah. go, to, uh, go to our Instagram, wine.divination, to check out the spread um, and and also the wine and, and see our ratings. And, yeah. Um, yeah, Marie, where can people find you? And, uh, you know, what do you want to work what do you what are you working on and what do you want to shout out so you can find me at marie rich dot marie rich film dot com okay and oh marie rich Fe- okay rich okay, rich rich film. Film. okay manifestation yes. <laughs> yeah. make the life that you want i know i right? love that i it's love in, that it's in my name it's literally your name yeah literally <laughs> your name. um and i am also uh so speaking of me and carla maybe starting a production company blah 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 <gasps> um I produced her uh, uh, advanced film at UCLA. Ooh. Um, and so we are finally trying to wrap that up. <gasps> Yay! Um, I love that And film. put that out in the world. So she directed it. I produced it. You can find it at Par- Parelio film, uh, Parelio underscore film. Oh my gosh, will Instagram. you please spell it? Because yeah. I don't know if people know. It is P-A-R-H-E-L-I-O underscore film. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Got it um yeah oh my gosh okay follow them also remember to watch out for um marie's show that you co-edited oh yes um a town called victoria on pbs okay. next year 2020. in 2023 at some point sooner than we think literally i know right around the corner on. it's fall i know oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah true it's about to be september that's so crazy i know that's so crazy okay um Thank you so much for, yeah, for coming on the show. So we so love having, Thank you we, for having me. We yeah. loved learning about you, your yes. finance, your rich bitch life. That you're going to have. <laughs> that you're going to outcome have. Literally, you're going to have it. Just yeah. hang in there. And then, yeah. um, oh my gosh. Okay. We did our, we, I'm, I'm like doing a mental check. I'm like, okay, we, we rated the wine. We shouted you out. Um, we shouted us out. Rate, review, oh, and yes. subscribe. Please. Five stars only. <laughs> we'll accept we'll accept nothing less nothing less <laughs> nothing less only good reviews mm-hmm. we're gonna delete the rest no i'm just kidding please I mean, and thank who, you who honestly reviews podcasts negatively like who just gets on there to yeah say, i don't know bitches. if you put negative yeah like if, if i didn't enjoy something i just won't continue yeah you just to listen you right? just leave right? yeah. yeah so but don't do that listen to us yeah, yeah. only good things Oh my <laughs> also remember we have a thousand listeners remember our podcast is purely for entertainment purposes only we are not uh responsible, responsible for, for marie quitting her job no. <laughs> yeah yeah we're not responsible for anything no. you may do under uh, from our readings or what you may have heard from us mm-hmm. um purely entertainment and uh remember give us a follow on instagram wine.divination um if you have something to say to us or if you want to chat um go join our coven on discord Mm -hmm. you can find the link at wineanddivination.com we're on twitter wine x divination buy us a bottle of wine or even a glass um whatever you want correct literally 50 cents Mm -hmm. um on cash app wine x divination we would love your any donations or any support from you and um what am i missing uh i think i covered it all you're missing a good Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.